again. Come Which on. Where are you going? <laughs> Let's go that way. Oh, there's a big storm coming. Boy, there's a big storm coming. It's right. Yeah, well, at midnight, they said. You better get paddling here, Harvest Grant. the first time it rained in California, yeah. right? Oh, my God. This gosh. year. Hi, this is Ed Laflamme, head harvester from the East Coast. Kind of soggy after all day here and with this little dinghy. Hey, this is head harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast, and we've been paddling our little butts off all day, haven't we? Yeah. Hey, today we want to talk about show me the money or have accounts receivable received on time. There's several key numbers in your business. I mean, there's about four or five that are really key, like revenue, cash flow, gross margin. We talked about that a whole bunch overhead costs, your net profit, and accounts receivable. Right. Now you can do everything else perfectly. And even on paper, you can look like you're making money. But if your accounts receivable aren't right, they're not right. That's not a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit more, Ed. Well, there's nothing, <clears throat> there's nothing more critical in a business, especially a small business, is to get your money in. So you really have to track those accounts receivables, okay? If you don't do that, you can go out of business, and a lot of companies do, large ones and small ones. So you've got to get the money. Show me the money, right, Bill? You bet. <laughs> and, and the other thing is it's important that your customers pay on time, and you know you really have to train them. If they don't pay according to the terms, you've got to call them up. Have somebody call them up and tell them they're breaking and violating the terms of your agreement. And then that way you'll, you'll kind of guilt them into paying on time. Yeah, you know, ultimately, there's really only one thing we expect out of our customer. One thing and one thing only. Pay us on time, okay? Mm -hmm. Our goal, ultimately, on your accounts receivable, people have no money, no money over 60 days old on your books, okay? Now, here's some account receivable tips. Harvester, I want you to start us off. Well, one thing is, uh, for sure, is we have to have the right customers. If we've got the wrong customers and they don't want to pay, then you're never going to be able to get the money. So you have to get better customers. Yeah, you probably want to even, you know, do a credit report maybe, or maybe even a Dun and uh, Bradstreet yeah. report. They call it D and B report on your on potential customers, new customers. Commercial ones. Yeah. So get the right customers. <clears throat> you know, have your account receivable program spelled out in your agreements. So what is it? Is it net thirty? Uh, are there interest paid if you don't pay on time? Are there attorneys' fees, collection fees, and how are they handled? Have those spelled out in your agreements. So you really have to what? Establish the methods of payment. Isn't that you what bet. you're saying, Bill? That'd be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. You really have to establish your your methods of payment, okay? Uh, I know typically it's it's um, paying by check. They're mailing you a check. But today they can pay by credit card. A lot of companies are doing that. They can uh, go onto your website and, and pay right on the website anytime, day or night, which is a, that's a beautiful feature. So when you come in in the morning, you can see who paid. So there's a number of different ways. Can you think of any others? That I get well, them yeah, I, no, I think those are good ones. Okay. Online and credit are the, are the way to do it in today's technology, right? It's faster. So here's another one. Send out your bills and invoices regularly and accurately. So don't just one day, you know, you have to have monthly billings. Don't put it first week this month and third week that month. Do them regularly and do them accurately. So there's no excuse for your customer to say, gee, I'm not sure I understand what that bill's all about. Also run a statement. So that'll show you where their past payments have not been made. It gives a tally of everything that, that they owe you. So run a statement as well. So, so is that the same as this, the account the accounts receivable report? No, it's not. A little different. Yeah. So you want to run that report, okay? And then that way you can see, you know, if it's uh, current or 30, 60, or 90. And you really get after the people who are, are past uh, 30. Yeah, you need that aging report so you can see where your money's hanging out. Have a process for collection. If they're not paying their bills, you need to have a process. Maybe the first one's a, a gentle reminder, an email or a letter. Followed up with a phone call. Next one's a little more serious letter. Third one might be even a certified letter with a copy to your attorney. The fourth one is, we quit, certified letter, uh, we're out of here, we're seeing court. And that's so usually how many days? Oh, I'd say after uh, 45 days, you want to send the first letter out. And the second letter, 15 days letter, yeah, like right. every 15 days, every two weeks after that. That's and pretty build strict. Up, build strict. up the momentum, yeah. you yeah. bet. Yeah. Now, there may be some exceptions for some of your customers, and you know they're going to pay late, but they're solid, it's gold. So there's always right. exceptions to the rule, okay? Mm -hmm. So, have a process for collection. Mm -hmm. Remember, the longer an account remains unpaid, the lower the probability of getting collected. 
Absolutely. That's the reality. The longer it sits out there, the harder it is to get. So, so one thing for sure, you have to lose the losers. Yeah. You know, it's just no sense well, in having. Well, but on paper, they're, you're making money uh, on it. I know, and you're not collecting it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you don't make money on it. No, all. no, no. You're uh, not making money. You're losing money. Gotcha. You may have to even write some of it off. You know. No. So, so lose those losers. If they're not going to pay you on time, maybe it's time to to, to change and, and sift those people out and get new customers. Okay. If you like these ideas, we have a whole bunch more in our Harvest Academy. Check it out. You can see the link right at the bottom of the page. Click the link and just check it. I think you'll love it. This is Head Harvester Bill Arman and Head Harvester Ed LaFlon. Show me the money. Get and, your AR way down and, if and we, out. Yeah, if we got our AR way down, we could get we could get a bigger we boat probably next could. time. We'll just keep paddling there. Yeah, Come but on. We really Let's have go. to get a bigger boat We're gonna next go time. Fishing. Let's go one more Let's fishing. Let's collect trip. the money that people owe us now. Come on. Come on. We have to do that. Here we go. Here we go.